The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Eden Utabi here, and uh, I have a problem. I have a major issue. Uh, my problem is I kind of forgot that I had this sitting behind some boxes. I was moving some things around, and uh, I'm going to get into it. I, I, my area is kind of a mess. I try to keep things straight, but I just have literally too much stuff everywhere. So trying to sort through it, I just, I was like, oh man, I, I I don't even think I opened this thing, uh, and I wanted it really bad, and uh, glad I got it. It's the PowerCon 23 uh, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom exclusive Tanger. Kind of a nod to, to Beastman, but uh, based on the Thane body, it's a fantastic figure. I already had Thane see that on the channel. Uh, just a solid hunk of plastic. Great figure. But uh, excited to take a look at this and open it up and... Uh, Man, I, it, you know, problem series. Here we are. We'll flip around to the back. That's just, that's my life, man. Plus, it's, things have been crazy. I've been backlogged on a lot of things. You ought to see all the Transformers are sitting in the floor. I mean, I literally have like 30 boxes of Transformers. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, so, Tanger here, Jado, uh, Jadu. I said Jado. Jadu created the, this tangerine nightmare for extraordinary gladiatorial event known as the Power Games. Uh, 2023 PowerCon exclusive tanger. So this is the packaging. Uh, it's a little dented up just because I think I had something sitting on top of it. It's up under two boxes and, and the box was empty, but then another box was on top of it. So kind of just didn't never notice it. But Let's open it up and take a look at the figure itself and see all the cool things about the figure. So I think it comes with a whip if I remember. It's actually a good thing I kind of forgot because I don't remember what the heck's going on. So let's check it out. All right, it comes with um, some different hands here. Let me get them all out. Uh, we got two, I don't have them together. We got two fists, which they always do a good job with the hands, seeing the knuckles, the joints, seams, get two of those. On pegs, that's a hefty peg too. This this figure just never, never freaking ceases to amaze how big it is and how solid it is. Two open grasping hands. Like I said, uh, you can see that. I'm not sure how to convey a sense of size. Here's a G.I. Joe weapon just to show you how big that is. But pretty dang big. Uh, and then you can see the fur and all that on that. Uh, comes with an additional head. So we've got it here, uh, kind of see the sneer, I guess, with the teeth exposed. See that paint, kind of blue streaks, the homage, I guess, to Beast Man. We've got the helmet here, uh, like the, the, what is it, the Trojans, the Spartans kind of helmet right there. That's nice. See that peg underneath. Comes with his hammer. Uh, this one is just kind of an all black. I think the other one was, I have to pull it out, it's silver and some paint. This is kind of all black, which I like this. I think it kind of matches very well. It's got a lot of wear. I always point this out with their weapons. They do a good job just making the weapons look uh, like they've, they've seen a lot of wear and tear. Uh, we've got the wraps around the handles and everything like that. I really like that black. This is a solid piece of plastic right here. Like that. And then uh, probably the coolest thing, and it's got a whip. And I think it's real freaking leather. Because if you that hurts. <laughs> it's a freaking real piece of leather as a whip, which is impressive. Got the little things on there. I don't know much about whips, but uh it seems to uh do a good job. You can bend it however you want to. It's got the wrapped handle, and this is definitely a nice little homage to the to the beast man character right there. But Tanger's got an awesome whip. I think that's neat throwing it in. I love this kind of thing. Uh, I hope they continue to do it uh, with the different characters and different uh, nods to other lines. So let's bring in Big Boy. So good Jesus. This thing is a freaking monster. And uh, 
I'm just kind of holding on to him because I don't want to like knock him over because it'll make a loud noise. But he's got that shoulder armor, the blue metallic paint here on the buckle. You can just see all the wear on there. That looks good. This guy, look, hear that? Good guy. Jesus. <laughs> nice waist rotation. Got the blue skirt with the gold. Got the leg armor. You know, he's got abdominal crunch. Waist rotation is real nice. The head on that ball joint, he can do that side to thing. Uh, it's hard to explain what you call it, but the, the blue and the orange is just really great. We've got this arm, arm armor, I guess, right here. It's got kind of a leathery look. I mean, it almost feels like leather. I, I'll be honest with you. Just, I know it's plastic, but uh, it's got like a nice texture to it. Character itself looks really good with the kind of like this orange on the fur. The fur pops to me a little bit more with this kind of paint on it. Uh, you can see the, the gold and the blue here on the back. And yeah, he's just a heck of a thing, man. I, it, it's it's really it's really one of the best things they've done. You know, they did all the great characters. I really like that thing. Was awesome. This is just I love this guy, right? Yeah, it's just you know you could do some more nods and nobody's going to complain. This guy's arms are humongous. I mean, he's like his arms are about the size of a standard figure, uh, but he's can move around. We got elbow joints. I just pulled him out of packaging, so. Uh, don't want to mess anything up, but we got rotation there. You got the knees like that. So he can do whatever you want. Their articulation has been very nice on point and uh, just a solid, solid figure. And he's exclusive. So you had to get, be at PowerCon to get it or, you know, just had to be at PowerCon to get it. So awesome figure. Yeah, he's, he's really good. Uh, I'm excited to see, you know, I know they got the void. Me and Kato are going to hit the podcast up pretty soon uh, and talk about all the new information. We know the void went up pre-order. I'm very, very excited about the void. Uh, I was, I think that was one of the, my things on the wish list I wanted to see. So I, I can't wait to see that uh, and some more information to come out soon. So can't wait to get back on the podcast with Kato and talk more about AWOP. But there he is. There's Tanger. A heck of a heck of a piece right there. I mean, it's it's. I can't tell you. Hey, let me look at the bottom feet. How heavy this thing is. If you've never picked one up, you need to to pick up a thing, and just be impressed. That's all I can tell you. Just be impressed. Solid, solid figure. All right, guys. This is just a short video. I don't want to go too long in it, but I did want to show it. Uh, I felt bad that I found it, and I found the two other things too. That I'm like, oh my god, I need it. God, uh, so a master first thing and something else. So I, I really need to do a video on that stuff. But yeah, there he is. Excited, excited for what's coming in the coming year. And I know they announced some stuff on Kickstarter, but we'll talk all about that on the podcast. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you're watching this, please hit that subscribe and help out the channel. See you down the road.